Yes. This is something this would be familiar to people players in the original game. We detect UFOs in flight and we have to send out our interceptor to try to shoot it down. Yeah, so it's over Japan. It's a size small, which means we're probably going to be able to take it down no problem. Yeah. And they'll get bigger and more powerful as and there's different there's there's a number of different types. And that they'll become and later on they'll be like transports, they'll be specialized warships. Some of them will be quite quite a bit more dangerous than we're facing here. All right, so now yeah, now it engages and we have the option of ordering with abort to with Oh, there we go. Never mind. Yeah. Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained light damage. Ready. Now, we have a confirmed kill on Obi yeah, we get a little video for our first uh, the UFO is second. down. I'll copy over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask recon satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that Alrighty. crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Mm. Zoom in and enhance. enhance. Still in one piece. Oop, there. Commander. There they are. I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Yeah, despite being shot down, the alien craft is sturdy enough to uh, still be in one piece. Send the Sky Ranger. All right, now let's pick out our guys. Yeah. So again, good to mix it up. Not a great idea to send two snipers to the same mission. No, especially when you only have four people in the entire team. Yeah. But we are going to stick with some of the more trained soldiers this time, just because they're more likely to encounter heavier uh, resistance. Now, now, with when you're fighting with the UFO, the un, uh, in, capturing UFOs, especially the smaller ones. There be tends to be a lot more open spaces compared to like a city mission, because mm -hmm. they're often they'll usually uh, frequently have like cr they'll usually have, like crash like in a field or in the wilderness or something, so there's like larger open areas to cross. Yeah, uh, you're more likely to be in situations where you like you you, you might have a clear shot in an enemy that's a, a significant distance away. Yeah, snipers are pretty handy. Yeah, snipers can really come into their own in that environment, especially late, some of the later. Uh, uh, boost you can get for the sniper. Well, actually, there's it's actually even not that far. There's a, there's a sniper uh, skill squad site that lets them shoot at and, and they if, if there's a, if there's a if there's a clear line, they can shoot at an alien that's in any character's sight. Yeah. So they can shoot at aliens that are norm that are that are like that are too far away for them to uh like detect and fire on on their own if they've got another guy to basically be a spotter. Right. So we're going to go with uh, Ryu, Ken, Sonya, and Terry Bogard. Not going to bring in any rookies? No, they, the, on the, uh, on the alien uh, crash missions, you can sometimes find um, the Thin Men, the Floaters, and you will find the uh, Crystal uh, oh, okay. guy. Outsider. And rookies are very liable to get critical. Operation Unceasing Heart. Sounds like some like like bad like romantic movie. <laughs> Alright, so our objectives are to find the crashed UFO, sweep the area, for surviving crew, neutralize them, find the meld canisters which are still in this area, and avoid damage to the craft. Yeah, there are like things that could be like valuable components and equipment on board the alien ship that you'd like to take intact if you can. Almost always one to two alien computers, uh, navigational computers, and uh, one to two um, power sources. Power supply. Yeah. Those power sources will explode if they get damaged. Yeah. Which, in, in certain dire situations, you can use as a tactic. All right, now, like I was saying, lots of open space compared to that abduction mission. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. So, uh, now 
usually what you want to do is try and follow the path of damage to find the um, down. Yeah, I'd be like a, they'll be like a, yeah, I'll be like a like a skid basically. So there's stuff this way. That's the direction I'm inclined to head. Um, unfortunately, they don't always change the maps for location. Mm -hmm. So like we're in Japan, but this guy's got a pickup truck with a deer in the back, <laughs> which probably wouldn't happen not in japan not a lot of big game hunters out there ken's gonna head this way terry's gonna sprint up towards this truck all right so we do have visual contact in one of the canisters of meld all right i'm gonna have Rio run up this way now that countdown timer, is that how long it takes, will all the melt, oh, 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 I see there's, there's a second one there, so like you don't know how long the second one has yet. Yeah. The second one almost always has more time. Okay. But uh, it can vary, just depending on placement on the map. Now the thing with Sonya and the sniper is that they can't move and shoot in the same turn. Correct. Well, they can move their, they can shoot their pistol. Yeah. They do have a sidearm. But yeah, they cannot shoot their sniper rifle after moving. Unless you pick one, a particular special skill. Snapshot. But, yeah, but then there's, they, if they move after, if they do, if they use that, then they, there's a uh, accuracy penalty for shooting after moving. Yeah. And the, and getting snapshot means you miss out on, uh. Squad sight. Squad sight, which is like the ultimate, which is, which I consider like an essential sniper ability. I mean, that's, that's what makes them really scary. Yeah. It's actually interesting, because I did experiment, I'm going to just, because she's going to be useless no matter what at this stage, if she uh, moves. Yeah, if you're going to move, if you're going to move a snipe, if you're going to move a sniper, you might as well have him dash. Yeah. Uh-oh. Here they come. I did not, ugh, I didn't even see them that time. So, thankfully, Sonya uh, didn't get shot at, but she is being flanked now. Yeah. Now, when you're flanked, you uh, you're you're easier to hit. You're more, you're more vulnerable to critical hits. Yeah. So let's see. We're gonna reposition Ryu. And now this is our first mission where we've had a uh, a heavy weapons guy. Yeah. Now their forte is just laying down suppressive fire. And and, and the rocket rockets. Launcher. So I didn't. I didn't, uh, I should have shut off the rocket launcher. Damn. And they've just got those big-ass heavy guns. Now, the rocket launcher, likewise, you can't... They can they can move and shoot their regular gun, but they you can't shoot the rocket launcher after moving. Right. So, Ryu, which we already noticed, had fantastically poor aim. Only has a 35% chance of hitting this guy, or 15 of hitting this other guy. Are they in grenade range? They are in grenade range. Well, that's an option. Of course, Doctor uh, Van, Doctor, or one of them is. Yeah, one of them. Of course, Doctor Doctor Killjoy will be on your ass about it. Well, if we use the grenade, not only do we not get their, uh, well, we we don't get the um, weapon fragments. The, 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 yeah. I do they ruin the corpses too? I can't remember. I think it does. I'm not certain. But yeah, I know you won't get the weapon fragments. Yeah. So we're we're gonna switch around. Let's see, Sonia. Four. Terry has a shotgun, so he can't even aim at them at this distance. And all of the advantages he would have, he'd have to. Sp he wouldn't be good to use run and gun at this point. Yeah, so just move him forward, I'd say. Yeah, so we're just gonna move him around this way. Yeah, the assault, the assault guys, they have. They can carry either rifles or shotguns. The shotguns is like really powerful at close range, but it has poor long range accuracy. Yeah. And assault guys, they tend to have, they generally have, like, higher hit points, and they, they're, they're, I mean, they're the guys who, like, you know, kick down the door and go in first, so they have to be able to, they've got a lot of abilities, they've got a lot of abilities that are basically based around, you know, not being killed. Yeah. When they're, like, under heavy, when they're under fire. They've got an ability called, well, no. They've, they've got an ability called lightning, really great ability called lightning reflexes that makes the first Overwatch shot fired at them. When they're mo on their turn, if they're moving, miss automatically. Yeah, which is really useful. All right, now what's and now what's Ken up to here? 
Um, again, he's not in a good position. There's not a lot of places he can move to cover-wise. This will still give him full cover. It won't give him a great shot, though. Okay. Although, at this point, you're just going to have to deal with where he is. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad. There we go. Yes! So that's one down. Uh, that leaves Ryu with a 15% chance of hitting that. And Sonya, again, can't shoot in the same turn and move. Well, so, remember, she does have her pistol. Yeah. That is an option. She does They're not actually... get a chance to critical with it, though. No. And the pistol is not very powerful or long, no. right? Oh, there actually is, there is a, uh, at least one sniper ability that actually makes their pistol more powerful. Yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna throw caution to the wind. He did not even remotely fire in that right, with the right direction. <laughs> but the sectoid doesn't want to mess with the big machine gun, and has decided rightly to just leave. We're gonna move Ryu up this way. So there's some more sectoids. Oh. And there's the wreck. Yeah. Got a big, so the important good, good. thing for me to keep in mind is the fact that the meld counter is not taking into the account that I'm in battle. It's still counting down. Okay. So I'm gonna have him... Now the now the second meld counter, is that also counting down right now, or does that only start when you get, like, when the first one is done? It's, it is counting feet? down. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. S you know, uh, smaller maps, they just start with a smaller countdown. Okay. Now, Sonya's pretty far, but I'm going to take the risk at having her dash a little bit closer. Mm, now I'm going to move her here first. Doesn't look like there's anything in the area, so I'm going to have her risk running straight for it. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, there's, there's one that popped up, but nothing that wasn't already seen. And okay. she's in good cover behind it. Okay. Oh, is it on the other side? Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's move up here. Ken still not in a very good vantage point. I'm going to have him move around this way. And then Terry. Terry's still really far off. So I'm going to... Oh, here we go. Have him dash over to these rocks. And on his next turn, he might be able to run and gun all the way up there. Okay. Now, the, the alien ships, they sometimes will sort of vary in how damaged they are, right? Right. I mean, I, they certainly did in the original. It depends on um, the weapon you use to shoot it down. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there, there are. there's a weapon you get later that's like... Whoa! And there goes that tree. Yeah. So there's that brief connection with the meld canister. It's definitely over in this direction. So Sonya, because she's in a good position here, can collect the meld and that doesn't change her turn. Okay, so that's that's a free action if you're right by it? Yeah, okay. like opening the doors. Okay. okay. And since and she hasn't moved, I can use her sniper rifle. Let's see if we can nail this guy. Does up to five damage. Is it? Ah, damn. No! Shot wide. Sniper rifles are also very powerful in addition to being long, long range. Yeah. They actually lose accuracy if you're too close, don't you? Don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I think uh, there's close combat or something. Some feet you can get to reduce yeah, that okay. penalty. Yeah. Yeah, but for the most part, the, the further snipers are, the better. Yeah. So... This sectoid is actually mentally linked to some other sectoid in here. You can kind of see the loose little particle beams shooting between yeah. them. Yeah. Now, I want to say if I kill him, then the other one will die. Yeah, I think so. They got like a they got like a Corsican Brothers thing going. Yeah. When they're using and that ability. And happens to be in good enough area to get a shot, a rocket off on him. Ninety percent. Okay. So right. everything in this bubble is going to get damaged. Yes. 
Uh, I don't know if there's computers. I don't know if the power supply is there. I don't know what's gonna die. But, but something. I feel like which is what I feel like using it. For some reason, also there's a ten percent. There's a ten percent. Always a ten percent chance of missing. Oh, or, uh, bitch, bitch, bitch! <laughs> don't blow stuff up. Don't. So it's not a good idea to just use explosives, because again, it's like she said, the grenades are very effective at killing them. All explosives are high damage, but uh, they also destroy the weapon fragments. They're also especially handy early on when you're fighting the sectoids, because they're very squishy. Yeah. So like, and like rockets can miss, but grenades pretty much, I, grenades don't really ever miss, do they? No. Yeah, so, I mean, like, they're kind of like if you need, like, a guaranteed kill on, like, a just a sectoid or whatever, grenades are good early on. Yeah. 